saving seeds is a very important part of gardening. There's several reasons why you should save seeds. One is you save money. You don't need to rebuy them every year. Two, you pick out the best producing plants, the best tasting plants. Three, you can share them with friends. So here we are, it's the end of the summer, and I'm going to show you how to save seeds of tomatoes. You take a look at your tomato plant, and you pick out the reddest, juiciest, softest tomato. Oh, look at that. This must be the one, since it just opened by itself. And what you do is you open it up, and you let out all the seeds into a small dish. And you eat the tomato. Yum. You put some water in it, cold or slightly warm, and then you just mix it and you try to get the slimy thing that surrounds the seeds off of them. Well, this will be difficult because they're very small, but there's another way to do it. You get yourself a fine mesh stainless steel strainer and you strain these. As you see, they still have the slimy stuff around them. And then under a sink, you wash these until you see that this gelatinous stuff surrounding the seeds is coming off. You can see that they're much cleaner already. You just gently mix these in the water. Big difference, huh? Okay. When you feel that they are clean from the jelly like stuff. You rinse them again and your seeds are ready. All you need to do now is dry them till they're 100% dry. Could be at home, outside, wherever you want. As you see we have seed making and full swing here. Here we have some cantaloupe seeds which are washed and dry. Here we have some local watermelon seeds which are almost dry coming off of the strainer. So when you have the seeds that are dry, and these are the red sweet cherry tomato seeds, totally dry, all you do is you gently scrape them off the strainer. Now don't forget, each one of these seeds is a little plant. You take a clean paper envelope, put it inside. I would say I have about 20-30 seeds in here, which is pretty good and I labeled the envelope sweet cherry tomato 2016 and I put this in a dry place and I plant them in the spring next year this year I'm also saving seeds of zucchinis so I'm saving three types the yellow squash the green zucchini and also this other really beautiful zucchini the green striped zucchini right here and how you do that is you can see this one the small one I'm going to have for dinner is that you choose very large plants of zucchini and you just allow them to grow as large as they could and you wait until they start going rotten when they start going rotten ooh, it's nice and warm you take off the zucchini plant you scoop out the seeds you wash them dry them and you have zucchini seeds for next year's planting so today we're going to finish making the zucchini seeds this has been sitting here all season hopefully the seeds inside the zucchini are mature well developed and good for us to save for the plants for next year so what I'm going to do is just detach this from a plant. You can see it's a little bit rotten and that's a good thing. And just pick it up and bring it to our seed making station. So there's the striped one and there's the solid dark green specimen and yellow summer squash. Ooh, there's some really nice seeds in this zucchini. So what you do is you just scrape them like that. Mm. And what you're looking for is ones that are plump and fat and that they feel like there is a seed inside. Compare with this one that hasn't grown properly and there is nothing in it. Big difference. You can even see that this is transparent and this is not because it has that plump seed ready to burst next spring. And what you do is you wash them in water, cold water, slightly warm maybe. Just 
go through the zucchini puree like this and wash it as many times as you have to to get this soft zucchini puree off of it all the meat off of it clean them off like that repeatedly rinsing them and when they're rinsed well you just leave them to dry you don't stick them in the oven you don't want to kill the seeds just uh, outside or in the room temperature at home just like that now next we'll do this dark zucchini they're very similar in flavor but let's see what's happening in this one now it takes about the whole season for this to mature in a cold climate so you should start early let's see Now, let's check if it has some, I see some viable seeds here that I cut through, but there's plenty over here. What you need to do is you remove the seeds, scoop them out, try not to destroy them. But then you probably don't need that many. You know, if you have about six zucchini plants for a family of four, they will last the whole summer and then you could freeze some also. See, these are really nice. So you keep going and then you rinse them, wash them again. You get all this juicy meat off. Now if you leave some of this meat in there, it would just go rotten and uh, you won't be able to store your seeds well for the winter. That's why you have to wash it off. So they are nice and clean and they can dry with ease. It's a very meditative process. Give yourself a break, make some plans for the weekend. You don't really have to rush through life and stuff. Like that. And you let this one dry. And then this, last but not least, the yellow summer squash. Let's see what's going on in this one. Nothing here. Oh, something here. Look at that, they're a little smaller. <laughs> they might be still good. There's some hiding. Some of these I cut through. You don't need that many. Uh, unless you want to send some to your grandma. So you get them all out. Once you do that, you repeat the whole process all over again, washing them out. Now the only good ones will be the whole ones, not the cut ones and not the transparent ones. Okay, we have about 10 here that are very good, nice and plump. And we let those dry. This is my butternut squash cucumber patch. You could see the butternut squash is really happening here. It's giant. Uh, it's not ready, but what is ready to make seeds from is cucumber. This cucumber is ready for seed making. It is bright orange as normally it's green. It's going rotten a little bit. So all I'm going to do is cut it, take the seeds out, wash them and dry them. I'm going to try to make cucumber seeds from these pickling cukes that I've been saving, hoping that their seeds will mature. You can see they're a little rotten and frozen and that's... Uh, perfect for making seeds. So let's check what we have here. Oh, I think some of these are good. Okay. What we do again, we just scrape the seeds. Yes. 
This, of course, you can always put on the compost. Don't ever throw anything in. Your own organic vegetable fruit compost is like gold. Okay, some of these are ready, some of these are not, but we'll pick through them. And then you rinse. I'm getting all this gelatinous meaty stuff off of the seeds so they could dry nicely without going rotten. It's a little easier to do it if you have running water in a sink. Just put the running water through these seeds. Yeah, this is gonna take forever. There might be a friend of mine flying by checking out what I'm up to. Hey buddy! Oh look at this! How interesting. The seeds that are not mature are so light that they came to the top. And uh, we can just get rid of them. That's a super duper solution. Yeah, and the heavy ones that are mature enough for planting went down. I like that. You're saving money, you're getting better quality seeds. And you know what? You can even save them for three years and they'll still be good. So you need to get rid of the gel. They're very, 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 very strong. You see how small the tomato seeds are? And you do that and nothing ever happens to them. Seeds are smart. They prepare for this. If an animal takes it, swallows it, poops it out. So, what do you think? All those stomach acids. And they don't destroy the seed. Hmm. Almost. Just need some serious stirring action. I'm so close. I can smell it. I can smell the smell of success. I can smell the smell of the pickling cukes on my plate next year. Okay, they're pretty free of gelatinous substance, so all we have to do now is dry them. Saving seeds of marigolds. You can see that this flower is almost ready for the seeds. So is this one. But this one is really ready. It's very dry. You open it. The seeds are ready. You just take out the seeds. They're 100% dry. They're ready for planting next spring. All you need to do is put them in an envelope, put the name Marigolds, put the year you collected it, and uh, put it in a dry place. Dry, cold place. <laughs>